film my September plan with me video and I know it's going up a little bit late, but to be honest, every time this time of year always gets a little crazy and I haven't spent a lot of time in my planner at all, which is not good because the busier I am, the more I should be planning. So I'm hoping to rectify that this afternoon and get myself organized and lay out my month so I can be successful. That is the goal. But before I get into the actual like planner footage, I did want to touch on the Inkwell Press launch. And a lot of people have asked me what I'm planning on doing right now. And I'll put, if anything changes, I'll put it in the description box, but I'm definitely going to get a bound flex planner. And I'm debating between the multicolored triangle and the kind of blue watercolor hexagon. Those are the two I like the best. So I'm trying to debate which one I like a little bit more, but I think all the colors are beautiful. And I'm also gonna get the A5 inserts. I've never had a file of facts before, but I'm a little bit interested and I kind of wanna order the nude patent one. I think that one's beautiful. So I'm gonna get the A5 inserts and you know see how I like the size of that. And if I like them, then I'll end up ordering a file of facts. And of course I will share that with you guys. But I think that's everything I wanna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the actual planning. So you know in the Inkwell Press Livewell Planner, the color scheme changes month to month. Like January was yellow, you had pink in February, uh, green and purple I think in March, and then you eventually end up, they rotate, so you see these color schemes come up again. And I have to admit that every time it's been yellow, I haven't really loved it. This one, January was okay, I really didn't like May. I didn't like this blue sticker that I chose. So I'm back to yellow in September and I'm determined to like it this time. So I think that I just went a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to introduce some new colors and I really liked how August turned out. So let me pull out my stickers really quick and I'll show you what stickers I used in August. I'm running pretty low on all my favorite stickers, but I didn't want to place a big order because I know I'm going to be ordering from Inkwell Press this week. So I just wanted to get that in before I ordered any more stickers. So instead I decided to use some that I already owned. And if you remember my friend Sarah bought me a couple sheets. These are from the resetgirlshop.com. And this lightest blue page flag worked so perfectly in the color scheme. So I used these stickers, even though they're a little bit large, I still really liked how it looked. So these showed all of my work appointments in the month of August. I love these stickers. They're from the busybeeshop.etsy.com and she specifically makes these for the Inkwell Press. So you know that the color scheme is gonna match. And I use these hexagons to show any personal appointments like meeting up with somebody for lunch, also for birthdays and anniversaries. And then something new I'm doing is adding washi. And do you know that there was a time when I didn't get washi and why everyone got so excited about it? And you can tell from my little bowl of washi, I get the washi mania now. So the kind that I used for the month of August, it's from the brand Scotch. It says Scotch Expressions, and I bought this at Target. And I really liked it. I, of course, you know me, I love floral, and I just thought it was very pretty. So the washi I'm using to kind of block off, so like big things. I know that this was a really big event and then we were in New York City, so those I really wanted to stand out apart from all the other appointments. This is what I have so far in September. So you can see I'm still using yellow, but I've introduced some new colors and I'm really happy with how that's looking. Unfortunately, I ran out of page flags that I thought matched this color scheme. So instead, I'm just going to be using hexagons this month, again, from the busybeeshop.etsy.com. And I'm going to do just a tiny bit of color coding. The two yellow colors of hexagons are going to be my work appointments, and then every other color is going to be more personal. And then again, I'm using the washi tape. This time, unfortunately, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have the brand name of it. And I think I ordered this online. I think I saw it on Instagram and somebody else's Inkwell Press, and I thought the colors really went together. So when we were in Ohio for the wedding, that was a really big thing and I really wanted to make it stand out in the planner. So I used the washi tape and then I'm gonna use it again. I have a pretty big work event later in the month. Okay, now I can see that this whole weekend is blocked off and I really like how it looks and it's also gonna help me as I make decisions for the rest of the month from something little like a YouTube video to meeting up with somebody. Like I know on the 25th, there's a well people event. I really wanna go with Karen, but I have to think this day through to make sure I'm not gonna be rushed when I need to get to that event in the evening. And then it's also gonna help me choose because I normally film my videos on the weekends. So what I'm thinking right now is that since the 23rd is the first day of fall, it would be perfect to do my fall lips next Wednesday. And I don't know if I've mentioned, let me zoom in just a little bit. I write all my video ideas over here in this notes column. And one thing that's gonna be new for 2016 is that there's gonna be lines here, which is very exciting because I hate when I write crooked over there. So I take a look at this list. These are all the things I'd like to fit in in the month. So I'm going to do fall lips on the 23rd, I think. And then this weekend's gonna be a little bit crazy. So I need to think that through. What I'm thinking right now is that I'm gonna do a get ready with me. 
a work appropriate one. And that way I can film myself getting ready for one of these work events and then hopefully edit it on Monday and Tuesday and then have that one ready to go on Wednesday. So I'm really liking the addition of the washi tape. I just think that works nicely for my mind. So I have my Outlook calendar pulled up right now and I'm just gonna fill in the rest of this month and we'll move on to the next thing. One of my favorite things to do each month is fill out the mission board and I kept postponing it because I wanted to film this video. So I have all of my goals written on a scrap piece of paper, but I still wanted to write it in. There's something about writing in and especially on the months that I film this video, I don't know if it's saying out loud or saying it to you all that makes me feel a little bit accountable, but I'm so much better at actually completing everything on this list. So I'm gonna do that right now. gotten in the habit of doing over the past couple months is taping in a note or postcard that was sent to me in this notes and rambling section that's directly across from the mission board. And since I'm looking at the mission board so often, it really makes me happy to see a note from a friend right here. And there's so much writing space in the Inkwell Press that I haven't missed this page at all. So this month I got two really cute cards. This first one is from my friend Diana and she, I've mentioned her before, we're on this epic Snapchat streak. I think we're past 140 days right now. So she wrote best and she wrote in Snapchat friends forever. So I love that so much. And then Ashley, a fellow Ashley from the Green Bunny, she makes green natural beauty videos here on YouTube. She sent me the most beautiful Rifle Paper Company package and this card was in there, which is gorgeous. The card is gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna go with this one for this month and I'm gonna tape it in with some washi tape. I went ahead and prepped this week. I used my appointment to do, appointment to do stickers. These again are from the resetgirlshop.com as are the little circles. And I wrote in the appointments I have so far. I stuck in my scratch sheet. I always stick in a note paper on the opposite side of the week, just with a little bit of washi. And then I can messily write anything I need to. And if it's important enough, I can write it on the actual planner. And I also stuck in a little bit of gold polka dot washi for a little bit of color. But that is what I do have some to do's I know that I'm gonna to need to do for tomorrow. So I'm going to open up my email box and write those in. This is what I mean about the Inkwell Press having so much writing space. At the end of the month, I have these two full blank pages for notes. And I talk about loving fall so much each year and that it's my favorite season and I just love everything about it, but it's also the busiest time of year. So I thought that it might be fun to do a fall, like a fall to-do list of things and activities I'd like to do, like go apple picking. Like I always think that that would be so fun, but I just, you know, it's one of those things that unless you plan for it, it's never going to happen. So I think I'm going to do a little fall wish list, to-do list type thing back here. So if you have any things you love to do in the fall and you think I should add to my list, let me know. But I think right now apple picking is like one of the top things. And I really want to make an apple pie from scratch because that is Jeremy's favorite kind of dessert. I don't think I've ever made one completely from scratch. So I think I'm gonna get my friend Ashley. I have another friend Ashley, I have lots of Ashleys. Um, I, she's really good at baking and cooking. So I think I'm going to see if she will help me. So that's one of the things that's gonna go on my list, but let me know if you have anything else I should add. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I worked in my planner today. And if you're getting anything from the Inkwell Press 2016 launch, I would love to know. If you are a classic girl, a flex girl, or if you're really into Filofax, you're gonna try the new A5 inserts. And if you have a favorite brand, like is Filofax the best brand of binders, or do you like Kiki K or something else? I would love to read that as well. But that is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.